fighting out of Roeville, Melbourne, Victoria, and representing Australia, the two-time, two-time Australia. I'm 28 years of age. I've had 25 fights for 20 wins, 4 losses and 1 draw. I'm the current WBC and WKA Weight Australian Champion and now I'm the WBC Super Lightweight Australian Champion as well. So look out, I'm going to conquer that division as well. You called it exactly right Johnny, we've seen it happen many times. It just explodes out of nowhere. Having a chat to him before the start of the fight, and he said, "I reckon Alexi's going to cut. Oh, that's a He's going to cut." Oh, a massive right hand counter punch there from Alexi. And you, WBC welterweight Australian title, Alex. The great Petrullius! Um, when I was a bit younger, I was into kickboxing. Um, it wasn't until I went to Thailand at the age of 19. Um, I went and watched a few fights and it just spun me out. I, it just opened my eyes a bit. It was a different, completely different ball game. Um, more tactical, more ritual, more spiritual, and it just got me from there. I think it was about at the age of 22, 23, I just uh, returned from the military. I was um, an infantry soldier. I was there for um, a little bit. Um, then came home and I, was, I just wanted. I just dedicated myself to fighting. It was just something I always wanted to do, but never had the opportunity to um, go out and get to reach my goals. So it wasn't until then that I thought, you know what, I'm doing this now. It's now and ever. the truth, I don't know where I'd be. I, it's actually a scary thought trying to think about it because as a teenager I was a bit of a troubled child. I um, used to get into a bit of trouble, a lot of fights. Um, I had that I don't care attitude so it wasn't until I actually discovered Muay Thai and that sort of made me settle. So without Muay Thai God knows where I'd be. Oh, that's a big cut. cut! Big cut! Yeah, elbows. That's probably my um, my main weapon at the moment. I think the, probably the last 10 fights I've had, um, bar one, I think I've cut every every one of my opponents with my elbows. Um, my first, The first time I actually cut somebody with an elbow, I'm like, wow, I can do this. It was, it was so easy and ever since then it was just, I was just looking for that target, just that open, open bit of face that I could just try and land an elbow. So it just became more habit. I had, had my first state title after about four fights. Um, I was fighting somebody a lot more experienced than me, a little bit heavier than me, but I took the fight because I thought I thought I could win. Um, my first state title I actually lost. Um, I was a bit heartbroken by it. So um, after that, I um, came back stronger. I thought, 
that was one fight, I'm not going to let it bring me down. And ever since then, I just excelled. And the next state title that I had, I won unanimously. I cut him, and uh, yeah, it was just it was an incredible, incredible feeling after that. And then all I had to do was defend it. I defended it, my uh, Victorian title. Yep. And then I was eligible to fight for the Australian title. It was May last year that I fought for the WBC Australian title. I uh, won that unanimously as well, which I also cut him. <laughs> um, very, it was a very tough fight, but obviously I was a bit more sharper and a little bit fitter than him. Um, and then in April of the same year, I um, fought for the WKA Australian title as well, and I managed to cut him and stop him as well. So that was a knockout win as well. Well, growing up, I um, used to see uh, Stan the Man a lot. What the f are you doing here? here, here. He was from Greek heritage, you know, I was a bit of a I was a bit patriotic when I was younger, a little bit proud, young Greek. Um, so he was a bit, he, I idolised him because he was, he was just world champion, he was number one of that era. And um, But now that I've come into the actual Thai boxing, um, I have bigger and better influences. All these Thai fighters, they're just animals and I just want to be like them. I want to have this skill and hopefully one day be able to fight one of them. The Waipu Ramoy, it, it's an ancient dance that back in the ancient times they used to perform it before they go into battle. But now in today's society it's a ritual in before you, you fight. You pay respects to the fighters previously in the ring and it pays respect and honours your camp, your trainer, and it represents the culture. In June 2008, I lost uh, a very important part of my life. Um, my best friend's dad, um, Michael Marouche, he pretty much was there for me when I was younger. He took me in, he was like my father figure. And um, he got diagnosed with uh, lung cancer. That affected me a lot, so he was, <coughs> sorry. We grew up, you know, like brothers, uh, me and Alex, and, um, you know, we were always, you know, at our place, and growing up, we, you know, both out there running amok and all that sort of stuff, and my father sort of pulled us in check, and, you know, uh, it got him in, involved as well, and sort of just kept us working, and tried to sort of keep us off, you know, off the streets and out of trouble and, um, you know, at one stage he was sort of living uh, under our roof and, um, you know, we we'll sort of grew up as brothers in that, so yeah. It was like losing my father. At that young age, my dad wasn't around and then that's when he took me in. Um, so anyway, in 2012, oh, I fought into, I fought, or well, I took part an eight-man eliminator um, and I said if I won this tournament I was going to donate half the winnings to the Australian Lung Foundation in uh, memory of um, Michael Marouche. I don't think I could even, uh, I don't think there's words for me to describe that and explain what that sort of meant. Um, you know, it's sort of like a, a brother's love and there's nothing there that I can sort of mention it. I don't think there's any words that, yeah, could sort of... Uh, Explain that feeling, yeah. Your winner, blue corner, Alexi.
Yeah, I, t I fought three times in that night and I won the eight man eliminator and I donated half the purse to the Australian Lung Foundation in his name, in his honour. For your winner by split decision, blue corner, Alexi. Well, there you go, Johnny A. Split points. I've actually had a couple of fights in Thailand. Um, I've had a couple of fights interstate. Um, and in 2012, for the first Australian Muay Thai Awards, I was nominated for the most technical fighter, which was out of thousands of fighters, I was one of the top five, which was, I was quite honoured. Um, I'm looking to conquer the super lightweight division. Um, and then, and then, hopefully take on the world. Um, I'm not going to stop now. I always used to say to my sister, when I stop fighting, or when I become a world champion, I'll start, I'll start dancing with her, because she's a dance teacher, but we'll see how we go with that. My name is Alexi the Great Petroleum. I'm 28 years of age. I'm five foot nine. I'm, ah, <laughs>